Hi, Laura. My name is Jen Bernstein, and I took Creating Fame at around this time last year. It's really, it's really fascinating to me to actually take the time to think back to what my life was like at this time last year and what it's like now, because there's been a massive, massive, amazingly positive change that I really attribute to you and Creating Fame. And honestly, I was nervous about taking the course. I was nervous about investing that much money in a course. I've never taken an online course before, but I thought your content sounded great. Your description of the program was really interesting to me. I knew that's the direction that I wanted to be going in. So I thought, I'm just going to take a risk. I'm just going to go for it. Um, and I did. And I loved every single session of Creating Fame. Uh, I looked forward to every session and I loved it. I usually let myself just sort of take in what you were talking about or, and the question and answer periods and then I would maybe jot down a few things. But at the end, I printed out all of the transcripts from the sessions and you can see that's a lot of content and had them bound at Staples. So it's like my book, my little creating fame bible and I'm not kidding I refer back to this content all the time in fact uh, when I got the email from you requesting sort of feedback from people about how creating fame has helped them uh, I was I was taking a break from writing the keynote speech my keynote speech for a conference that I am designing and running at a college next weekend that speech, that conference would not have happened without Creating Fame. Um, when I first started t taking Creating Fame, I was thinking, well, I'm going to write a book. I'm a college professor, an English professor. Like, that's what I'm trained to do. I thought, like, the big thing was, like, I'm going to make it a sort of multimedia digital book. <laughs> and I really realized, you know what? I don't want to be doing that. I really did not feel like writing a book at that time. Um, I was feeling sort of frustrated with the glacial pace of um, writing and scholarship, and I really wanted to break out in new ways. And so I don't really remember the moment in the course, but I realized, you know what, I want to be creating these programs in different forms. I don't want to be just writing books. I want to be creating online programs um, and as well as in-person programs. So one of the things that I've just love the most about being a professor is all the behind the scenes mentoring. I love teaching. I love I love teaching the content, early American literature and philosophy and writing. That's great. But over the years I've gotten more and more interested in the underlying things that you really need to succeed as a student and even in your, you know, the early stages of your professional life. And I've been doing this on a sort of one-on-one, -on -one, behind-the-scenes sort of way, and I really wanted to step it up and make that the forefront of things. So, make a long story short, I heard that there's this conference and that they were at a con at a college and they were soliciting um, proposals. So I thought, you know, I have nothing to lose. I'm just gonna. And this was like in this was shortly after creating fame. I decided I'm gonna create the proposal for my dream conference, like what I think that students really, really, really need to know and need to know how to do. I wanted a conference to be really inspiring, but at the same time really practical. And I just put it out there and they within a week, um, accepted my proposal. I got a nice juicy contract. I'm going to be going down there next weekend to run it. And this is all because of creating fame and never, um, ever would have come up with this. And in fact, I'm quoting you, Laura, in my keynote speech. And that was what made the email even funnier to me is because I was taking a break from writing my keynote speech and I had just been quoting you about the importance of, um, how about sharing your goals and dreams with people about how every single opportunity comes from another person, another human being. Um, so I was thrilled to get your email. I thought it was really funny. And another thing that happened by putting myself out there, which is like a huge part of the creating fame process for me, was just um, really learning how to get myself out there. One, obviously, we're looking at it right now is my website, which I developed uh, in 
with the help of a graphic designer and a web person. Um, but I happened just in conversation to mention to someone that I also do editing. And I hadn't been talking about my editing for a while. It's just like clients would come to me and just wasn't putting myself out there. Well, anyway, this wound up leading to this really juicy, amazing editing gig with the Charleston Food and Wine Festival. I wrote um, most of the copy for this year's event. And it's like one of those, it's just one of those projects. It's like the dream project. It's so much fun. I'm writing about food. I'm writing about great food. I don't even really like to drink, but I started wanting to have some of the cocktails that were being described. And um, this is all because of Creative Fame. And I just keep going and going. I've got the program for the college students and I've right now I'm working on Get Yourself Into College, which is an innovative way of approaching a college application process. So Laura, thank you so much. <laughs> Your creating fame is just fabulous and I highly recommend it to any and everyone who's thinking about um, you know, stepping up their game. So take care. Bye.